Welcome to Grade 12 Biology, the Cell Division Series. In this presentation today, I am going to talk about inheritance for cell division. If you have not done so already, I recommend you to download our Grade 12 Biology the cell division study app. It contains lectures, flashcards, and quizzes. It's completely free and it's available on both the iPhone and Android. So go to your App Store or your Google Play and um, search for this app or you can also um, look for more information in my website for which I have provided in the YouTube description. The most important person in this topic is probably a person called Gregor Mendel. Mendel is the person responsible for demonstrating that the inheritance of traits follows a particular pattern which he found from his pea plant experiment. Mendel recognizes that alternate forms of a gene is the result in alternate forms of a trait which he named the alternate form alleles. If both alleles have the same traits, it is called homozygous. On the other hand, if it contains different traits, it is called heterozygous. Alleles separate in gamete formation in which the gametes for each parent contributed to one allele for each pair of the alleles. A very important concept um, that you need to know for exams is what is called a Punnett square. You need to be sure that you know how to um, solve one, how to populate one. Um, so what is a Punnett square? Well, uh, a Punnett square um, is used for predicting phenotypic ratios of the offspring based on the alleles of the parent. Some genes have two alternate alleles and an example of that is blood type in humans. In some rare cases, two alleles can incorrect together with which neither of them are dominant. This would create a new trait known as co-dominance. Sometimes two or more genes contribute to a single trait. This is known as polygenic trait. Polygenic traits produces more variety and can determine the heredity by using a pedigree diagram instead of a Punnett square. Now, if you actually want to know more about Punnett squares or the pedigree diagram and how to solve them, I would suggest to consult with your school textbook or um, find out more regarding uh, um, to this topic and how to solve these problems because it is crucial for you to know and I guarantee it it will be on your exams. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android.
Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related to this lecture. Also check out our website um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.